It's decorative gourd season, and today on Clash of the Crafters, we are going to be tapping into all of your favorite projects. We know that you love anything we do with gourds, from turning pumpkins into kegs to beautiful tablescapes. Now, let's meet our competitors. Mary DIYers PJ and Thomas are used to being on the same team, but they're going head to head in today's tablescape battle. Only one will beat the clock. This is Clash of the Crafters. All right, so this is something that's totally new for you guys. So this is actually the first time that we've been kind of competing against each other. So it should be interesting, to say the least. Interesting, to say the <laughs> least, for sure. Here are some of your rules. OK. You guys get 60 minutes to complete this project. So you guys are going to have full access to our craft wall. I okay. want innovation. I want creativity. I want beautiful. We're excited. Awesome, I know. The wheels are already turning. <laughs> well, let's save that energy, and let's get started. <laughs> Three, two, one, okay. go. Go, 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 go. Okay. So, okay. I'm kind of overwhelmed because there's just so much stuff. I'm loving all the colors. I know. I really want to incorporate the fall colors. How to do that is the question. All right, guys, I see that you've gathered some things. Thomas, do you want yes. to walk me through some of your thoughts here? I see you have a nice little array of gourds. And yeah, I've paint. already accumulated some things here that I kind of want to work with. Um, what I'm going to be doing is making a wine holder out of this. It's okay. So, do you know anything about gutting and carving a pumpkin? No. <laughs> this I is going to be really interesting. I know what it looks like at the end, but I've never actually done it before. So okay. this should be really interesting. What are we doing here? I found the drill. Okay. So what I'm going to do is take the pumpkin and use the flowers to decorate with using the drill. Okay. Uh, and I think it'll turn out really cool. Sounds interesting. Yeah. I'm excited to see how this all plays out. All right, guys, time check. We are 15 minutes in, and this it looks like good. you have a lot more to do. Oh, no. <laughs> Being that you are an expert with power tools, what are some tips that you have for anybody watching that might want to start incorporating power tools into their pumpkin carving? A drill is pretty simple. You can kind of teach yourself. Some of the more complicated power tools, you may want to definitely take some some time to learn or get with somebody that, that has knowledge with that specific tool. What are you yeah, doing here? So really the basic premise is drill it out, gut it, and then I'm going to drill or cut a little hole here for the bag of wine spout to go in. Oh, it's bag of wine. Yeah, okay, it's a bag I of wine, it. right, right. I so we're not it. just gonna pour the wine into the empty pumpkin. Cut a hole here. Write some decorative, um, some words on it. I may spray paint, I may stencil it, I'm not sure yet. Okay. And then, um, yeah, it's kind of nice, BF, nice little festive party favor. How do you know how large to make that spout hole? Funny you should ask, because I've drank many bags of wine in my day. Oh, so you're gonna eyeball. <laughs> Have you ever spray painted a pumpkin before? Because I haven't. Third time is hopefully a charm. Well, it seems like you're getting quite a bit of help from Maria. It's just because she really wants the wine thing to be complete <laughs> so we can use it later. <laughs> Hope that it fails, but I do think it's a great <laughs> idea. So you guys have been working for 45 minutes. <gasps> What? Yes. Already? Already. Oh, no. Not here. The whole idea here is I'm going to be cutting a pretty large hole into the top of the pumpkin. Mm -hmm. And once I remove this, I'm going to gut this pumpkin as well. And the whole idea is you put a bottle of wine in there to keep it chilled for a party, so. Okay. Pretty impressed here with this confident newbie. I know. Key Don't word say that. Confident. We can't say that. All right, 
right? I see you pulled out I did. When lights. I, when I found these, it was just like a light went off in my head, and I knew exactly what was going to happen next. When you found next. the lights, the light went mm -hmm. off in your head. Mm -hmm. I see what, what I did there. there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Reusing the drill, okay. I'm going to put holes in it and then kind of mm -hmm. weave these into the pumpkin. Oh, that should be really interesting. Hopefully. I'm here to let you guys know you have two minutes. I'm kind of nervous. I'm, it's like the suspense is building. Time is ticking. Time is ticking. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, hands up. Pumpkins down. Uh, you guys did it. You finished the project. Uh, now let's get our tablescapes designed. Ten minutes on the clock. Time to style. Let's go, guys. All right, time is up. Who is going to be the winner of the gold scissors? Is it Thomas? Is it PJ? <laughs> Let's check out these tablescapes. I really like this touch. That's really pretty. Thank you. I like the color theme that you went with. Mm -hmm. You have one pop of color with a lot of neutrals. I love the gold and the cream together. Of course, you know I love the idea of drinking out of a pumpkin. <laughs> yeah. I think this is great. What's more fun than that? I mean, I don't know. This one is hard, guys. This one is really hard. All right, so we got where they were going with their whole design from start to finish. I have only but one pair of golden scissors, and I believe that... Thomas, you are our winner. Uh -huh. Yes, your pumpkins are amazing. Wow. This is a decorative gourd challenge. Mm -hmm. I know that the tablescapes are important so we can see how it all falls in with each other. By the way, you did a beautiful job on your tablescape, <laughs> but your pumpkins are amazing. Thank I love you. the way that you did the negative space with the pumpkin. It coordinates, super chic, it's functional, totally on trend. When is wine not on trend, right? <laughs> that is true. So that true. Is true. All right, well, thank you guys so much for coming thank out. You. you guys were great sports, and uh... maybe we'll shake hands. Oh, that would be awesome. Okay. Years ago was really great, though. <laughs>